Hey guys, Sean with American Window Concepts here. Today, I want to talk to you guys about licensed versus a non-licensed contractor. When I say non-licensed, that means a person who does not have a contractor's license and is not actually legally able to do any kind of custom work to your house. Uh, whether it's framing, whether it's a bathroom remodel, uh, whatever the case may be. In our case, it's window replacement. So if you are looking to replace windows and say, in our case, and you are looking for the cheapest avenue, and some people may say, well, I can replace the windows for you. And you could say, well, do you know how to install windows or are you a contractor? They would say, well, I've done it in the past. I know how to do it, but I'm not a licensed contractor. So this person who's not a licensed contractor basically has no skin in the game um, when it comes to if something happens uh, wrong with the installation and or they start the project and um, all of a sudden now you can't get a hold of them because for whatever reason, something went sideways with them and you can no longer get a hold of them. With a contractor, they're licensed through the state of California and if anything is to go wrong, you can always go to their contractor's license number, you can contact the CSLB and they'll get a hold of that contractor for you. Um, also with a contractor, they're licensed, they're insured and they're bonded. The license part is what it is. I have a C17 contractor's license, which is specific to window and door installation, whether it's commercial or residential. The bond, you have to have a bond, which basically is a performance bond. It's to cover the customer against damage. So if we go in, we install and things start to go sideways, you know, something gets damaged or what have you, and we don't cough up to it, we don't answer your phone calls to that, well, you go against our bond. We start something and we don't finish it, you can attach that to the contractor's bond. So that's the benefit of having the licensed contractor. Now also, when you're dealing with a licensed contractor, you have the insurance aspect um, to cover you as well. So flooring gets damaged, a window falls from the grip of a, an installer, hits the floor, well, insurance can cover that. So any kind of damages that are done, insurance will handle. So that's another benefit of the licensed contractor. The fly-by-night guy who says he can do the work for you, he can easily walk up, say he'll start it, and um, take him money, take your down payment, um, and then split and let's say you're trying to get a hold of that person to see when the work's being taken care of and they don't answer your phone calls there's nobody that can hold their feet to the fire you know if they stop answering their phone calls that's it uh they took your money and ran um, that's not the case for a contractor they cannot take your money and just leave because there's there's things to to stop us from doing that kind of stuff and it's unethical uh, but anyways so if you're thinking about you know doing some work to your house those are just some of the things to consider. Um, you know, a license versus non-license. License, they have gone through stringent tests. They're proven. Uh, they know exactly their trade. Framers know exactly what to do whenever they're dealing with framing. Flooring, same thing. Roofers, they know exactly um, every bit of information that they need to know to get the job done right the first time. Same thing is true for windows and doors. There's wrong way and right ways to install windows. And I've gone over that before uh, in other videos. Just do your homework whenever you're looking at a person to do your work and then weigh whether it's important or not um, for that licensed or non-licensed. Another thing about licensed is they're able to pull permits for you. Um, so if you're doing some work in the city or in, within the city limits and you want to pull a permit to get the, the job done so that way you can have it on record with the city hall that the work was done to your house. Fly-by-night guy can't do that. You can't pull the permit and attach their license number. There's no license number to attach. There's that. Um, but anyways, keep those things in mind whenever you're dealing with improvements to the house and whether or not you want to use a licensed contractor or a non-licensed. Hopefully this was helpful. If you guys have any questions, you can always reach out to us, AmericanWindowConcepts.com. Go to the contact button and fill that out and I'll reach out to you in about 24 hours. Thank you so much. Hey guys, thanks again for watching this video. If you want to be kept updated on new videos that are coming out, just hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much.